Today's Between Master and Disciples will be presented in Thai and English with subtitles in English, Arabic, Our l a p s e a s of Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, Slovak, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. ราชนาจักรไทยเป็นที่รู้จักกันในนามของดินแดนแห่งความเสรีตั้งอยู่ใจกลางของเอเชียตะวันออกเฉียงใต้ทำให้เป็นประตูเปิดสู่อินโดจีนพมา่าและภาคใต้ของประเทศจีนได้รับการอวยพรโดยพระเจ้าประเทศไทยเป็นประเทศที่เต็มไปด้วยธรรมชาติน่าพิศวงและลี้ลับแบ่งออกเป็นสี่ภูมิภาคประเทศไทยมีเสน่ห์และดึงดูดผู้คนทั่วโลกประเทศไทยมีสถานที่พิเศษที่ติดเรืองใจของท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ซึ่งท่านได้เขียนไว้ในบทกวีเมื่อท่านยังยาววัยที่ชื่อว่าที่พระบรมมหาราชวังในสยามซึ่งเป็นพระราชวังที่เรื่องชื่อลือนามของไทยในสมัยก่อนบทกวีนี้มาจากหนังสือรวบรวมบทกวีที่ชื่อว่าความฝันของผีเสื้อและสามารถเพลิดเพลินกับบทเพลงจากวิดีโอคอนเสิร์ตการเดินทางผ่านอาณาจักรอันสุนทรีซึ่งให้ทํานองเพลงโดยแพมด้วยผู้เรียบเรียงทํานองเพลงชื่อดังของเอาหลักแบ่งปันความเมตตากรุณาสำหรับคนไทยดังที่มีในพระราชวงศ์ของเขาในอดีตความรักของท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่แผ่ขยายด้วยการทำงานเพื่อมนุษยชาติของท่านและเห็นประจักษ์ผ่านการสอนทั้งด้านจิตวิญญาณบอกแจ้งสัจธรรมของท่านตอนแรกที่คนไทยได้เรียนรู้ถึงความเมตตากรุณาของท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ที่แผ่ไปกว้างไกลเขาได้เชิญท่านเพื่อมาแบ่งปันความรู้และปัญญาของท่านเกี่ยวกับการรู้แจ้งและอาณาจักรของพระเจ้าหลายครั้งการเดินทางทั่วโลกครั้งแรกของท่านในปีพุทธศักราช2536มีผู้เข้าร่วมนับพันพันคนและในเมืองไทยก็เช่นกันธนูตาจารย์ชิงไห่ได้ใช้โอกาสและความสุขร่วมกับสมาชิกสมาคมครั้งหนึ่งที่เป็นโอกาสสำคัญคือการจัดฌานอาณาชาติในปีพุทธศักราช 2,542-2,543 เพื่อตอนรับโลกใหม่ที่จะมีความสุขที่สุดและยุคทองของศตวรรษที่21ในปีพุทธศักราช 2,549 หลังจากที่ท่านได้รับรางวัลสันติภาพเกาซี่ในกรุงมะนิลาฟิลิปปินส์ท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ได้รับเชิญมาที่เมืองไทยอีกครั้งเพื่อการสัมมนาพิเศษสวดภาวนาเพื่อสันติภาพของโลกกับสมาชิกสมาคมของเราสมาชิกของเราจาก24ประเทศหลายหมื่นคนมารวมกันในงานชุมนุมที่ร่าเริงเพื่อสนับสนุนสันติภาพของโลกผ่านการภาวนาและนั่งสมาธิเราขอเชิญคุณมารับฟังการบรรยายต่อไปนี้ของท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่กับสมาชิกสมาคมของเรากรุงเทพประเทศไทยวันที่30ธันวาคม2542ในหัวข้อเรื่องทำให้ดีที่สุดไม่ว่าเราจะอยู่ในสถานการณ์ใดก็ตามกระดาษ I brought you here in case you still have some questions, and in this room, it is clear. Yeah. And if you don't want any question, it's fine. Then we can meditate. If you want the cookies, come to me. <laughs> oh, that's good for you. Take some ginger, ginger candy. The color look like this. <laughs> And the inside look like that, okay? It's good for your cold. I know many people who have um, their, uh, I'm going to put it in quotes, heads in the clouds. Mm -hmm. And uh, they ask me how can they uh, become more effective and organized um, on the earth plane. Mm -hmm. um, is there any insight that you could who, share who, with me? Who has heads in the clouds? Well. <laughs> 
I know a lot of people that feel that way. <laughs> Do you feel that way? Uh, I don't. Now then, well, how how can I tell you? Hmm? They should ask themselves. No? Mm-hmm. Ask them what do they see up there. Mm. Okay, that's the first mm. question. Okay. Mm. And if they don't see anything, then why are they stuck there, up there? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them to come down. If nothing to see up in the cloud. <laughs> well, there's nothing much really you can do. You know, each one is different. Well, they just find it hard to uh, stick to one job or mm-hmm. hard to um, function in the mundane life. They're trying <laughs> to function and um, trying their best, but just feel they can't really get their feet on the ground. Every one of us has the same problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ask any of them if they're really happy in mm-hmm. their job, <laughs> you know, or we're just all trying, okay? Today you like it, tomorrow you don't, just mm. try your best. Huh? There's nothing much we can do with this world mm. except enjoy whatever we have mm. and make the best of whatever situation we are in. Mm. Yeah? And if you can change job, mm. then try, mm-hmm. change. If it's better for you, then you stay there. Mm-hmm. If you think it's still no good, then why not change another one if you can, right. <laughs> if you can afford it, <laughs> okay? Mm. Just the thing is, before you change a job, make sure that you are secured financially first. Mm. Yeah? Don't quit one job first and then look for another. That would be difficult. Mm. Mm? But there's nothing wrong with looking for another job or environment to mm. work in. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes colleagues, bars, yeah, where you work mm. is also very important. It's not very easy to find a place or a job that you like immediately. Mm or you will like forever, okay? Just, just don't blame yourself. If you think it's really still can bearable, then just hang it on in there for a mm. while. If not, you think it could be better, then you try to look around, yeah? Mm. That's just about job or about husband as well? Mm? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Same advice. <Yes. laughs> Well, it is it's very difficult to find satisfaction in this world unless you just take anything, you know, and you don't mind, then it's also fine, mm. yeah? If you're not satisfied, then you have to try to find a way. I have a close relative uh, being of Christian faith in honoring the Ten Commandments, and they're always asking me, am I keeping the Sabbath according to their belief? And so this is the way that I also was brought up. Mm -hmm. Um, And they say that God blessed the seventh day and made it holy Mm -hmm. and separate from all other days. And we must must honor it uh, by not buying and selling and resting that day. That's true. And my question is, how can I uh, deal with this uh, request from my relative in a loving and compassionate way? You tell them you keep your Sabbath in different way, mm. different day, yeah. Mm. Our group meditation, that mm. is a Sabbath day. Mm. Originally, it is like that. You see, we should set aside one day to meditate, you know, think mm. of God, remember? That's why I tell you, go to group meditation Sunday, Saturday, mm. or whenever. Yeah, make a day for you. That is very, very according to uh, God's plan. Mm. You say you do keep one day, but it's just between you and God. Mm. You do remember God. All day. Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. Mm. But because of your work style and your lifestyle, keep one day, that doesn't mean you have to keep the mm. exact day. Mm. We can only accommodate so much mm. of others' opinion and feeling. The rest, you have to be yourself, okay? You can only do as much as you don't sacrifice your own mm. individuality and spiritual progress. A person feels that this is their salvation and it's the one thing that will get them to the pearly gates. Congratulate them. (laughs) And you have your way Mm. and this, you believe, Mm. also will get you to the pearly gate (laughs) and beyond. Mm. Tell them you know that Mm -hmm. for sure by your own experience. Mm. Tell them that not only at the Sabbath day but 24 hours every day of the week (laughs) and the month, the year, you always remember God, and God is with you. That you know for sure. 
And if they ask you, how you know for sure, you say, I just know. Just like if I'm in love with somebody, I know and he knows. Well, they have their right, you have yours, okay? They have their belief, you have your belief. Yes? Their belief is based only on books. Your belief is based more on experience. Just say, I'm happy with it. And God is with me, and I know that for sure. Say it very sweetly. Congratulate them first for their strong belief in God. Say, you have the same. You have the same. Just because our life is different, you know, we have to arrange to have a Sabbath in a different day. That's it. Master, my questions have to do with your talk yesterday. Yeah. You uh, said something very important, I thought, that um, you were talking about the wrong use of psychic energy to use spiritual healing on others. Sometimes in my everyday life, I pass an accident on the road, or I see someone else somewhere in distress, and or someone is sick, mm. and my my urge inside is to want to just send love to mm. to wherever that is. Oh, that's that okay. Is. That's okay. It, it's not interfering. No, no, no. no. It's okay. It's just sympathy. It's just love, okay. as if that person is you. Yeah. That is a natural reaction of a person who is full of love inside. But the person who do that for a living, people come to them, beg them, and then they lay hand on them, use uh, psychic astral power to rearrange the psychic misalignments and all that. It's not your case, <laughs> okay? Don't worry. So I have another question then about the healing. Are methods like acupressure and reflexology where you, you apply pressure to someone mm -hmm. to heal, not to psychically. No, it's okay, it's okay. Those are okay. Yeah, because that point okay. in the body connected with other nervous system. Yeah. And by um, pressing on that point, other nerves will be activated and heal themselves. Yeah. You know, like a blockage somewhere in your yeah. vein yeah. or in your mm, joint, yeah? And when you press somewhere, it sends a, a surge to regulate it, yes? Yeah. Just like you unclog your pipe system, yeah. okay? Yeah. I like those because those are ones that I, I feel like people can also learn to use themselves. And so uh, yeah, massage once they, or what? they learn, mm -hmm. they can heal yeah. themselves. That's helpful. Yeah, yeah, or maintain health. Yes, no problem. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Massage, acupuncture, acupressure, medicine, they are a natural way to cure physical ailment. Only spiritual power can cure spiritual sickness. Yes. Alors, ma question, c'est euh, le matin, très tôt, ou la nuit, quand je médite, euh, je sens une énergie dans les jambes. Hum, mm, comprends. Ça a tendance à vouloir monter vers le haut. J'essaye de me maîtriser pour euh, un peu dépasser cette, euh, cette sensation. Mais je ne sais pas si je fais bien de vouloir la maîtriser ou des fois j'ai envie de me lever pour, pour détendre mes jambes et, et faire un peu de gymnastique, mais je ne sais pas si je fais bien ou... Euh, ou tu peux faire massage un peu, faire un peu massage. Oui. Hein? Et ça fait du bien tout de suite. Ou de change de position de méditation. Hein? Mm -hmm. Par exemple, tu fais euh, la lumière mm -hmm. <rire> et puis tu changes méditation de son. Mais pourquoi est-ce que c'est la nuit ou le matin très tôt qu'il arrive ce genre de choses et pas dans la journée quand je fais aussi de la méditation mm, Peut-être il fait froid. Mm -hmm. Des fois, quand le temps il fait froid, on a les romantismes. Hein? Peut-être c'est comme ça. Euh, il faut ramener les, les choses assez chaud comme ça. Hein? Quand tu, tu es mal, comme tout à l'heure, tu le mets là le bas. Hein? Comme ça. Ça fait du bien. OK? OK. Master, I'm always being asked at work, um, you need to eat meat because you become anemic and weak. What's a good answer to that when people keep on asking me that? Tell them that the people who lay in hospital are meat eaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of them, many of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Today, the more meat we have, the more hospital we have to build. 
That's the answer. Just tell them you're fine, mm. you're strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Is there any good way you can prove it? This has been happening for six months. They've been asking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after work, I do a power walk to the car, mm -hmm. and I'm about the only one left. The others seem to be, you know, dragging behind. So yeah, that's yeah. in itself, yeah, you know. Tell them, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, until, the, uh, until a couple of weeks ago, one fellow, we did a sprint to the car, and I still beat him. <laughs> and you still beat him? <laughs> yeah. People, they're just so scared, you know. Sometimes they're scared because you do something they cannot. Mm. And they know it's right, but mm. they struggle within themselves. Yeah, yeah. So they try to prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's all. Some of them, I think, uh, they mean good for me, but there's a lot of just doing it because they eat meat and right. they feel uncomfortable. Right, right. Okay, mm. so anyhow, there are some things you can do also more positive. You print a portion of the benefit of vegetarian diet, yeah, mm -hmm. or survival into 21st century. Print some of the very crispy and eyes catching and logical pages from these books, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And give to them here, this is your answer. And is there a problem if they take time to read it or not? And this might help them, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you can't keep answering forever and argue back and forth. Mm. It's, it's uh, uh, very tiring. Mm. But when they see the words in print, you know, what people nowadays, they only believe in printed world. When this uh, newspaper is written, okay, oh, that must be it. <laughs> a bestseller, you know, mm -hmm. like John Robin, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. then they would believe it. Mm -hmm. Look mm -hmm. here, bestseller, millionaire even. Mm. We produce a lot of bad karma after we've been initiated. How can that be burned off, or how is that got ridden off before we pass out of this physical earth? How do we get rid of that karma? Oh, the uh, the future karma is gone. Yeah, the time of initiation, but the destined karma, you see, for which you are born for in this life, mm -hmm. it carries on. But uh, when you meditate a lot. And with master help, things uh, get better, you know, like smoother, mm -hmm. more lubricated. So you don't have to feel too much suffering when you have to uh, go through your bad karma. Master, 
was there a time when um, certain healing had to be done using meats? Now, was there a time when these were acceptable, or were they simply things that were um, misunderstood again at that time? There is no time this should be accepted. Of course, you know that. Mm -hmm. Thank For you, example, Master. even the daily, daily healing of our hunger, yeah? There are two ways, see? You can heal the hunger by meat, or you can heal it by vegetarian diet, vegetarian meat and animal meat. See, there are two kinds. Both will be satisfied, yeah? But in the long run, the meat eater uh, deteriorates himself more than the vegetarian one. Yes, in terms of health, okay? So you can see that, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Thank you, Master. The answer to this other person, too, is uh, he might be able to use his elephants on uh, hippopotamuses are one of the strongest animals in the world, and yet they're vegetarian. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. yes, of course, you can do that, yes. We have written all, most of the information compacted in the benefit of vegetarian, the definite benefit, the absolute proof, <laughs> the tried and trusted vegetarian diet, <laughs> and reprint it, you know, and just copy this little and give to them, and underline the important one, you know, like the world's uh, champion, boxer, yeah, Muhammad Ali, yes, he was a vegetarian, for example. Einstein, vegetarian. Socrates, a lot, a lot, a lot of them, yeah, are vegetarian. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet. Lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol levels, reduce type 2 diabetes, prevent stroke conditions, reverse atherosclerosis, reduce heart disease risk 50%, reduce heart surgery risk 80%, prevent many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increase life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, conserve up to 70% clean water, save over 70% of the Amazonian rainforest from clearance for animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3,433 million hectares of land annually, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consume two-thirds less fossil fuels than those used for meat production, reduce pollution from untreated animal waste, Maintain cleaner air. Save 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. We have a joy that you have today. We will be able to see you in the second half of the day. We will be able to see you in the second half of the day. We will be able to see you in the second half of the day. ไม่ว่าเราจะอยู่ในสถานการณ์ใดก็ตามผู้คนดีเด่นและงานที่น่ายกย่องเป็นรายการต่อไปหลังจากข่าวสารที่น่าสนใจในรายการโทรทัศน์ซูพรีมาสเตอร์เราขอให้ท่านมีความสุขและความสงบภายใน We enjoy your company today for between master and disciples please tune in tomorrow for part two of Supreme Master Ching Hai's lecture make the best of whatever situation we are in up next Good people, good works, right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. We wish you immense joy and inner peace.